what's up? I never know how to intro these videos anymore. Yo! Hey! Why don't I start by just showing you guys what hashtag real life looks like. That's all the laundry that we have not folded yet. And it's just piling up in this guest room. It's a mountain of clothes. <sighs> mm. Yum. Sparkling water gets me through the day. If you haven't been to Fresa's in Austin, oh my God. So good. You guys notice anything different about me? I got a second hole. Ear pierced on both ears. I have not had my ears pierced since I was like three, three months old, not gonna lie. And so yesterday when I was getting it done, I was a little nervous, but then I had to remind myself like, snap out of it, girl. You had two kids, you labored two kids man it's like seriously such a quick pinch and you can't even think about it um but i'm really glad that i did it it's like my little christmas gift that i did for myself today i'm going to share my everyday makeup routine this is so easy i feel like this has been my go-to now for the past couple of months and i get asked a lot of questions about what products i'm using what things i love and so it has been a long time coming since i've done a updated everyday um, makeup routine so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start by just sharing that when it comes oh that is not a cute stains makeup stains ignore ignore the stains when it comes to my makeup i have said this before and i'm gonna say it again when you become a mom you really do have to simplify everything like just to save yourself time and energy so something that i have done is just basically put all of like my favorite go-to products for every day in this handy dandy uh, Dagny Dover bag. It's definitely been worn, not gonna lie. I travel with this bag. To make it into this bag, I've gotta like really love what I'm using in my everyday routine. You know, I do have a closet right there in this guest room and that's filled with way more inventory of like products and skincare items that I get a lot of the time sent to me. You know, being in the beauty influencer space, like you get asked to review so many products and it's gotten to the point now where it's just like, I can't even dip into every single thing because A, I don't want to stray away too much from the products and the things that I already love, but B, when something runs out or I do feel like I'm getting tired of something, I love that I have the option to go in there and to see what can be added to my Cezanne exclusive makeup bag. Inside of this makeup bag now, I then have two other bags. <laughs> the big bag right here, this is where all the products are, right? Then inside of that bag, I have a tinier bag, which it actually came with this, so they match. Um, this is where I put the smaller makeup items, um, like, you know, the mascaras, the color correctors, the eyeliners, the eyebrow pencils, because those things to me get so lost in our makeup bags. So first and foremost, I love putting them in here because I can easily go to it when I need it. And I even put some of my lip products like lip liners in here. So the smaller things that you know you're going to lose at the bottom of the bag, put them in a smaller condensed bag. And then lastly, something that you don't mind getting dirty and beat up is another Another little tiny bag, um, either Anthropology or Madewell, but it's all beaten up. Yes. I want. I want to get. Uh, I want to. I want to have fruit snacks. You want chicken tuxedo? What? I'm doing a makeup video. You want to say hi? Say hi. Mm, I want some fruit snacks. Instead of fruit snacks, do you want a chicken taquito? Look, yeah. there's chicken in it. Yes. Okay, there you go. See you in a bit. Get the paquito. Paquito. Mom life. I don't remember the last time I did a video and I wasn't interrupted. <laughs> Is there something you want to say to everyone? You're being silly, willy. All right, can I, I'm going to finish my video. Do you want to watch me do my makeup? Yes. Okay, come stand right here then. You got to get out of the camera. You gotta get out of the camera. Okay. I, I, I gotta keep it down. It's 
like I was saying, we've got to have another bag that you do not mind getting roughed up, beaten up, dirtified, all the things. And inside of this bag, we've got all of my handy dandy brushes and tools that I'm going to be using to apply the makeup. That's the other bag. So we've got the main bag with the makeup products, the goods, the second condensed smaller bag with the littler items that you're afraid are going to get lost. And then last but not least, where I put my brushes. Having those three compartments in and of itself has helped me get my makeup done every day in such a quick amount of time. So um, primer is usually just another word for prepping the skin and moisturizing the skin. If you're looking for a really light, oil-free um, moisturizer, this is not sponsored, I really love Elta MDs. They have an AM therapy. This doesn't have SPF in it. Facial moisturizer, it basically, teeny, you want me to put a show on for you? Yeah. Okay. Had to do it, y'all. Had to put a show on for her while I do this video because I'm home alone right now and Mari's napping and I'm just gonna, you know, make this work. This is life. Okay, so um, like I was saying, this is a great moisturizer. It smooths, it evens the skin tone. So I apply that on my face first and foremost and it's already been set in my face. I'll kind of even just, I actually got a second one and what I do is I even throw it in this bag so that it's part of my routine so that I don't forget like first and foremost, just prepping the skin, hydrating it is key. I'm starting off with a color corrector. For my eyes to just help with some of the discoloration. If you can see this vein, this blue vein, I've got a little bit of blue, you know, here and there my little mustache, which I'm making it my goal to get laser hair removal. I already decided in 2022, new year, new me, I'm doing it. So color corrector I'm using after I've hydrated my skin is from Lip Tinted. I just really like it. Um, it's a port in a portable little stick like this. So for my day to day, it's really nice and easy. It is a peachier tone. So, you know, we got to keep in mind, this is not obviously how it's going to be because this is just going to make me look like a clown before I even put on anything really. As the goal is to just cancel out any of the bluish undertone, mustache region, my under eyes. Two concealers that I have been loving. This is really a toss up and honestly, I use both equally, but it just depends on the day. Lancome Tent Idol. This is a concealer, but it's literally like an all over concealer, which looks really amazing on the skin all day. So it to me doubles up as a foundation as well. This is in the shade B-I-S-C, um, a little bit darker, but that's okay. But then I also have it in the neutral shade as well. I sometimes kind of mix those two if I need to. And then the other stick that I really love is from Merit. Merit is like a really great makeup brand. Um, I'm, this is not sponsored obviously, but I really like how they've made things portable and easy. I even have like their little highlighter stick, which I really love. I'm gonna use that here in a little bit, but this is kind of like, again, like this little um, cover up uh, concealer stick and I love it. I don't know why, but when I just wear this Monday through Friday, for example, if I wear makeup every day, I have found that my skin will get irritated. I have seen a couple breakouts appear. Um, I don't know if it's related to this or not. So I like to give my skin a break from using the same exact product. So I cheat it and then I bring in this one. I love how this one has worked in between those days where I just cannot be using this all the time. I don't know which one to use today for this video. Um, I might just go with the merit stick because i did use this one recently on my instagram you guys can go check it out so i kind of treat it a little bit like it's a foundation so i always start right where i color corrected just kind of like work your way work your magic and i just focus on the t-zone area and then any other areas that just need a little extra love sweetie really You guys hear sweetie snoring. So for the most part, can't forget. There's this product specifically, I kind of use my fingertips first to just kind of spread the product around. This is from Real Techniques and it is actually a face and a body. When you put it under water and you squeeze it and it's damp, oh my gosh, look at how big it gets. You wanna see what like the original one looks like? 
Look at how little it is. Don't judge, okay? I did use this yesterday, so it is. I haven't washed it. But look, look at the look at the comparison. This just saves me so much time. Look, it's just blending everything so much faster within a couple of strokes. <laughs> and you know, because I promised Teeny I was gonna paint her nails, I better hurry up here before I get interrupted again. <laughs> Using the Bare Minerals. This is basically the original mineral veil, but it's in the pressed powder form. This is just what I've currently been using. And I've been using that other blender to blend underneath my eyes. Hey girl. Hey. So I'm just gonna do that. With the, what are you saying? And in the T-zone areas, just where you tend to get a little bit more oily, I'm just gonna put that in that region. And y'all know I love that glowy skin, but we're gonna create that glow here in a little bit. Then I'm gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder to kind of just set the rest of my face with this ginormous BH Cosmetics fan brush. Um, I like just gently setting the rest of my Mommy, skin. Mommy, I like your brush. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I like just gently setting the rest of the face because like I said, I tend to have more dry skin than oily. Um, so if it's not the T-zone area, I just do a gentle set. That up. Girl, you are killing me. I wish I could do a makeup I gave you some makeup, remember, to play with? I totally gave her a couple of makeup products to play with because she's so into makeup right now. So she sees me doing my makeup and I'm like, I, I remember being her age when I was four, I wanted makeup. So I remember sneaking into my mom's makeup vanity and just stealing her makeup. So I know her tricks. And so therefore, instead of her having to go behind my back, I just thought, you know what, let me give her a few things that she can play with. Um, so she's been having fun with that. Next, I'm using this Lawless Everyday sort of blush bronzer brush. And I'm just dipping it into the Fenty Beauty Island Ting. Island Ting. Okay, whatever, Riri. And I'm just gonna do a rough contour here which means I'm not getting super strategic with it. This is everyday makeup, okay? We're not trying to go to prom or a red carpet event, okay? This is drop-offs for teeny at school and date nights, you know? Something that I can easily take from day to night. So just a rough contour, accentuate the jawline. Is use this for the nose to just do like a more, obviously, ooh, dramatic contour, which I'm gonna fix that. Easiest way to contour your nose is start from the eyebrows here and come down, which is what I should have done because now I'm gonna have to clean up the mess. Mommy, and then you can bring it all the way out like I that. I got my makeup, Mom. Oh, show them your makeup bag I gave you. <laughs> That's Play-Doh. This goes with my eyebrow. I put it on my eyebrow. You put the Play-Doh on your eyebrow? I put it on my cheeks, actually. Okay. My brush. I love that. Well, this is my favorite brush. You can use it though. You can borrow it. I gave it to you. I'm just cleaning up my contour while Teeny is showing you guys her makeup bag and what's in it. This? this? Oh, you have a makeup towel. This? Start them young. Oh, the Tarte uh, cheek this. blush. Oh, okay. So you got some this. Armani lipstick in here. <gasps> oh. This. Okay. Oh, great. She's got a little illuminator. That's beautiful. I love that, Teeny. Can I please have some of your makeup? Which one? Here, you can have this too. It's a little illuminator. Okay. Okay, this just goes on your cheeks. Then what we're going to do is with that same brush, I'm dipping it back into that island ding. <laughs> island ding from real. I'm going to go back in and I, y'all, if y'all saw my Instagram reels, y'all know I've just been doing a little contour to make the lips pop. Careful with the top lip, because it can create a five o'clock shadow. So very gently on the upper lip, the line, give it a little run through. I look crazy right now, but that's okay. We're done with the contouring part. I'm just doing a little bit like this. You know, you don't even need makeup. You're what? beautiful without it. A cream blush that I have been loving, that I've been using every day, is this cheeky one, is what it's called, from Merit. Um, I love it because for me, blush is something that I feel like it easily fades away as the day goes on. So by doing a little cream blush, I don't know, it just makes me feel like 
my cheeks look a little bit more dewy, more sun-kissed, and then I can always go over it with my NARS Dolce Vita. When it comes to blush, I just kind of keep this as my marker because if you go super close to the apples of your cheeks, it just can make your face look a little bit heavier than what it is. So if you don't wanna look like you got round cheeks, you can definitely enjoy the art of makeup by, you know, bringing it out and up. And it's just, I don't know, to me, it doesn't look as 80s, you know? It just looks a little bit more like I'm blushing because I just saw my Prince Charming. I'm just gonna use, like I said, a little bit of that NARS Dolce Vita to just set that in place. Okay, I'm gonna add the little bit of glow. This Merit Glow Stick, y'all. This Merit Glow Stick is just oh, so good. Y'all know I hate swatching, but I'm doing it for you. And it just glides on really evenly over my makeup. And it's just, again, feels really hydrating. So I can definitely get away with, the hardest part is not putting it, putting too much on because it is so, it's just so easy. It's just like a natural glowy illuminator. I don't feel like with certain powders, I feel like it just starts to look kind of cakey sometimes over your makeup and it doesn't really look dewy and glowy. It's just, you wanna try to fake it and make it seem like you woke up like this, you know? Like that's the art of makeup is almost looking like you have no makeup on. So I love how it just gives your skin, look, this little natural glow. I even like to go in right here and just add some to my inner corner. This just wakes up my eyes. This little drugstore eyeshadow palette that's been in my makeup bag. And it's just from CoverGirl. It's just this warm little brown shade here. Who is I kind of go over the rest of my lid after just a simple way to again have like a brown natural looking eye. I'm back together with my It Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil. This is uh, their brow powder. It's a universal taupe shade. I literally love eyebrow shapers that come with two sides because first you can tame it. And if you got thick brows naturally like me, then you get it. But sometimes all you need is just to fill in the gaps, like right there. I had a little too much fun with the tweezers. So just a little up, you just wanna kinda go up with your brush strokes and keep it really less is more. Beauty counter, I love it. And this is obviously the brow gel invisible. Just a clear brow gel. I just like how it doesn't get crusty and it just kind of like locks everything in. I'll grab a little eyelash curler and curl my lashes. And those two lip liners are from Buxom. This is literally like their creamy chocolate shade. It's so dark, obviously. But if I really want to have like the va va voom juicy lips, after I've contoured, this is the one I used on that reel on my um, Instagram. This will just really give it that look. But because I'm just keeping things natural today from the same line um, of Buxom, I'm gonna be using their Power line, but this one is in the shade Dangerously Dolly. Go right on the line because watch what we're gonna do. You might think, isn't that pointless? Why did you just put it on? But no. It gives it just a natural shadow and instantly just look. Let's go in with like a gloss. Um, this is the Rose Sugar by Bobbi Brown and it's just a beautiful little gloss. You can even go matte and just add this to the centers and that'll just really make your lips pop. But like I said, this is like every day and I just take this with me in my pocket or in my makeup bag and reapply as the day goes on. So to finish this off, guys, I am going to go in with my Honest Beauty. Um, this is the Vibe Liner Eyeliner. It's a crayon eyeliner, all right? It's in a black shade. And then all I'm gonna do is in my top at the waterline, you know, you might not be able to see it right now, but this is one of my like little mini personal pet peeves is like when I add my mascara, it's really gonna lift my eyelashes. Therefore, you're gonna be able to see that line right there just so prominent. And I just, I like to really like kind of 
blended into the lash line. It actually kind of preps the lashes too for the mascara and makes my lashes look thicker. It does tickle the first couple times you do it because you're not used to it. Whew, my eyes are watering from that. Last but not least, my Honest Beauty. It's my current favorite, favorite mascara because it comes with the primer side and the mascara side. I used to sleep on primers and be like, oh, I don't want, I want to do a primer, the white, whatever. It's like, is it worth it? It makes a huge difference. And I'm literally going to show y'all. This is there just because I know y'all are going to ask. It's the Extreme Length Mascara and Lash Primer is what it's called from Honest Beauty. It's actually award-winning and I'm going to show y'all why. So you start with the primer side, which is the white side first. You just want to let it sit for like 30 seconds. I add it to the bottom too. The best thing to do to maximize your time while that is sitting is to put everything back in your makeup bag. So I'm grabbing my bronzers, putting it in the main compartment bag, putting my little tiny products back into their homes. <laughs> and then my brushes are gonna go back into my ratchet little brush bag. And then literally, making the most of our time here. We are maximizing time, guys. Putting everything back in its place, just like that, okay? And now it's time, this is the last product I have out because this is the last step in this everyday makeup routine. And check it out, guys. This is one coat of mascara, holy freaking moly. It just glides so smoothly on top of that primer. You could do this with your eyes closed but don't because, you know, it can't imagine. I'm gonna add it to the bottom too. Gentle strokes. Okay, still have not dipped it in. This still has enough on there to get this other side. Look at that, I'm trying to show y'all from this angle. Look at that, dude. This is like my, seriously my favorite. I have put every single family member onto this. The other mascara I really like too is from Buxom. You guys know that though, but this one might be better than that one. Oh my gosh. This is it. And it was shot on my iPhone. So there you go. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today. These are just some of my favorite products. Now, I know you guys probably have some products that you are currently loving. I wanna know like, what is one product in your makeup bag that has literally been there time and time again. Like what is that one product that you're always like restocking and you're like, I just cannot live without it. And I'm just excited to share more tips and tricks that I'm learning each and every single day. All right, love you guys so much. Until next time, mwah, mwah.